Okay, so we are going to start here on the anterior portion of the thigh with the quadricep muscles. There are four quadricep muscles. And the first one is here straight in the front. This is the rectus femoris muscle, the rectus femoris muscle. And when I rotate this to the lateral side, here is the vastus lateralis, the vastus lateralis. And it's really big. It um, goes underneath this tendon here and it also shows up on the other side. So that whole thing is the vastus lateralis. Rotating medially now, this is the vastus medialis, vastus medialis. The fourth and final quadricep muscle is hidden underneath the rectus femoris muscle, vastus intermedius, vastus intermedius of the quadriceps. Let's go ahead and rotate it to look at the medial portion here. This strap-like muscle here is the sartorius muscle, the sartorius muscle. Right here we have the iliopsoas muscle, iliopsoas muscle, which is formed from the iliacus muscle and the psoas major muscle. This is actually the iliac crest of the hip bone or os coxa. And this is the iliacus muscle. And the iliacus muscle is going to join with the psoas major muscle to form this muscle here, which is the iliopsoas. The pectineus muscle is right here. It's what most people kind of consider the groin muscle. Okay. And here we have the adductor longus. The adductor longus. This is part of the adductor magnus. The adductor brevis is going to be just a little portion right here. Adductor brevis. Adductor magnus. The adductor magnus goes underneath this muscle, which is the gracilis. And this, as well as all of this, this is still the adductor magnus. And this little part is the adductor brevis. This here is the gracilis muscle. If we take off the sartorius muscle, we can see more of the adductor magnus muscle and more of the adductor longus while we're at it too. All right, so continuing to rotate around towards the back, so we are medial here. So again, this is the gracilis muscle, adductor longus, adductor brevis, adductor magnus, adductor magnus, adductor magnus. Now, here in the back, the posterior side of the leg, we get our hamstring muscles. Now our hamstring muscles, we have three of them. This muscle here that lays on top is the semitendinosus muscle. Underneath, we have the semimembranosus muscle. And the semimembranosus muscle is also seen here just underneath the semitendinosus. So this is semimembranosus, semimembranosus, semitendinosus. And the third and final muscle of the hamstrings is the biceps femoris. Biceps femoris. As we continue to come back where we started, Remember, this is part of the vastus lateralis. This is also vastus lateralis. Now, if we follow this big, beautiful tendon up, we're going to get to an area right here. And this muscle is called the tensor fasciae lati. Tensor fasciae lati. So this is the gluteus maximus. The gluteus medius lies this area. So when we take off the gluteus maximus, we can see the gluteus medius, which is right here. And the pyriformis is located 
right here in that area as well. And here we can see more of the vastus lateralis here. Okay, so here we see more of the adductor magnus muscle. So this of course is the patella, this is the tibia, and this muscle here is the tibialis anterior. The tibialis anterior. This tiny muscle right here, right here is the extensor halicus longus. Extensor halicus longus. This is the flexor halicus longus. Flexor halicus longus. This is the fibularis brevis muscle and the fibularis longus muscle. Fibularis brevis and fibularis longus. Here is the soleus muscle. This is the Achilles tendon, soleus muscle. This is the gastrocnemius muscle, gastrocnemius muscle. On the other side, you can see also a little bit of the soleus, the soleus muscle. And we can see more of the soleus when we remove this portion. This is the soleus. This is the flexor digitorum longus, flexor digitorum longus. Now, when I remove the gastrocnemius muscle as well as the soleus muscle, underneath here, this is the tibialis posterior muscle right here. Tibialis posterior muscle.